Hi, everyone. Um, I'm an architect by education, urban planner by the most of my professional career. But I'm here now um, as um, one of the fo founders of uh, Dragodid Association, whose main activities are uh, organ is organizing the workshops in dry stone walling. So um, I'm not going to dwell too long on um, dry stone phenomenon and dry stone heritage, but for those who are not so, so familiar with the term, um, dry stone is a technique of building when one uses uh, unprocessed or very um, little processed stone to make various buildings and structures. The most common ones are dry stone walls, which we see on the, <clears throat> on the picture serve as boundaries for uh, livestock, um, as in for enclosing and protecting the arable land, or uh, for retaining agricultural terraces, or just to deposit excess rock, with, uh, which always comes from the soil, and it's very abundant in our creation karst area. In Croatian Adriatic, there are still lots of preserved dry stone, um, dry stone landscapes, but it's obvious that um, from the middle of the 20th century on, with the changes in economy and agriculture, uh, the thing that um, once was indispensable technique that almost everyone uh, had to master, at least to a certain degree, uh, has become obsolete. And, but as it happens with many uh, obsolete but beautiful things, it has become heritage. And um, I'm not going to talk m much about... Um, this heritage impulse, it's, it's praised, but not so praised as palaces or uh, churches or castles, but with the rays of um, landscape, uh, cultural landscape issues and um, intangible heritage issues, it, uh, it's becoming um, more and more popular and uh, becomes um, gets an, gets an attention but um, as i said i'm not going to uh, dwell too much on this kind of attention that comes from the heritage impulse but some uh, its new roles um, as a social condenser in the heritage education and as a, even as a some personal uh, bodily experience detached from its heritage content. First to say here is that uh, dry stone walling is pretty, um, it takes a lifetime long to master it, but it's very um, easy to acquire on basic level. Uh, it, it depends on very uh, very simple rules and very simple tools, and if the structure isn't too demanding or too valuable, it's very suitable for volunteer actions and beginners. So, um, the first story is about social, uh, Dresden Walling as a social condenser. In 2007 happened probably the biggest Croatian tra after war tragedy where when uh, 12 firemen, some of them being very young, died in what uh, supposed to be a routine summer uh, firemen intervention. The circumstances are still not clear and there is still uh, a lot of resentment among the families and communities of the victims. In 2000, 
10th, the design competition for the memorial was overwhelmingly won by a, a proposal of 12 huge dry stone crosses at the place of the event by one of the most famous Croatian contemporary architects, Nikola Basic, but the question was still how should or how will uh, it will be built. Uh, and then a group of wallers from another island, Pag, uh, with their uh, local firemen brigade volunteered and first cross was built in several hours during one Saturday. And after that, many other local fire brigades and uh, individuals and organizations volunteered and um, all 12 crosses were built uh, in, I'd say, the best possible way. The one that avoid, for example, the issues of professional engagement in such sensitive situation and brought at least some kind of redemption for families and, and communities and maybe even, even the even nation. Okay, the next one is much more cheerful. Uh, Petrebišća Dry Stone Workshop. Uh, it's been going on for more than 12 years now. It's a summer workshop on Uchka Mountain, organized and led by Dragodid Association and aimed uh, particularly at uh, students of uh, heritage professions, architecture, landscape architecture, archaeology, ethnology, anthropology, and so on, with, uh, even with some international students, so the whole thing is in English and lasts for uh, eight days. We think that uh, direct contact with stone, which is probably the most important material in European built heritage, brings and improves understanding of the material, uh, improves understanding and um, appreciation of stone wallers and stone masons work in general and improves understanding of the history and genesis of uh, Mediterranean or uh, Croatian Adriatic landscape and maybe most important of all um, it offers lessons on very basic principle of vernacular architecture is in general and that is the economy of time and effort. Uh, for example, in dry stone walling you quickly learn that the different kind of effort you need to put in a wall of the house then into a some kind of simple field wall and when doing that simple wall you quickly learn that you shouldn't complicate too much. Uh, if, for example, if the stone you've picked from the ground doesn't fit here where, <laughs> where you meant it to be, uh, try here or here or something. Because uh, throwing it back on the ground, it's a waste of time and energy. That's the most important lesson, I think. And um, the most unusual role, or at, um, the one that is talked about the least, is walling as um, something, something uh, very personal, even, even bodily experience, physically. I will begin with my own. Now I'm a well-known uh, heritage, Ryston heritage expert, but I must admit that deep down my uh, motives for doing all the theory and uh, lecturing and everything uh, is still, 
are still the workshops and motive for uh, attending or tutoring the workshops is still uh, improving and discovering the, the technique with all this joy and frustration that arises. Um, and another important thing, um, evenings, um, no, um, spending the days uh, in, in building with lookalikes, it, it's very connecting things. And uh, evening uh, by, the, by the campfire or in local pub after hard day's work are also very important parts of the experience. Next uh, example is um, volunteer camp or volunteer workshops um, that um, have been organized in uh, Stari Grad, Croatian UNESCO site, Stari Grad Plain on Huar Island, for three years now. Um, it's part of the big, bigger UNESCO program, uh, which brings people of um, young um, students or heritage, young heritage professional from everywhere to UNESCO sites. Uh, in Onhuar, particularly, they are rebuilding a simple dry stone wall along the, one of the roads in the field. And I didn't, um, I've been tutoring uh, this workshop for two years now. I didn't, and I didn't, um, I haven't made some, um, some kind of structure research on their <laughs> motives. And, uh, but in their reaction, I, I, I recognize the same will to acquire and um, master the technique uh, and same same joy and same frustration and <clears throat> this can be said for all the Dragodids workshops which are made in cooperation with many uh, local partners it's, they're usually weekend workshops uh, where Dragodid is invited to help with the organization and uh, bring some tutors, bring some volunteers. And these volunteers are very different in age and background. Uh, I've, I've mentioned already uh, heritage students and uh, in this group we can also put uh, other young and movable people with uh, interest in heritage and nature, but also we had some uh, professionals, young professionals, uh, construction professionals they, uh, that wanted to improve their skills or learn something new, and maybe most, uh, most prevalent are uh, young olds, freshly retired people who are willing to learn something new and spend their time and energy to improve their uh, yards, improve their gardens with, uh, or uh, olive groves uh, with uh, dry stone walling. So uh, despite, all, despite all these uh, differences, their response and bonding uh, are pretty much the same throughout the, all these workshops. And I think uh, thanks to very intensive and immersive experience of <laughs> trying to put these stones all together in, 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 um, in reg some regular shape. Okay, I think what we're dealing here with is um, some kind of... Uh, not big, but little change in uh, in heritage um, in heritage paradigm with uh, passive enjoyment is um, substituted with uh, active participation, and unlike many other heritage elements, um, walling or uh, stone offer. A hands-on experience, 
for even for beginners and for many this experience proved to be a crucial motive and driver for engagement more than some uh, kind of heritage awareness thank you